Okay guys, uh, this is a short tutorial video on how to install the new Elite Ammunition Magazine Protector. Uh, as you know, uh, the 5.7 magazines, uh, over time, uh, sometimes it happens right away, sometimes it can go years. Uh, I've got over 20 mags. Uh, one of the mags is one of the very first mags I ever got with my gun. It has not chipped. Other mags will chip right away. And Basically what happens is, is these feed lips right here chip off. Uh, they're not supported by any metal or anything on the inside and the rounds drag across them as they go into the chamber and if it chips off enough uh, you will start to get double feeding inside of the magazine and if it chips off even farther down what will happen is is as the bullets move up it will actually grab the spring that retains your magazine uh, release uh, this is how that magazine release spring gets popped loose guys have wondered how that's happening more than likely, uh, guys have got a chipped mag, and the tip of the bullet, and maybe the second or third bullet down, is actually grabbing it and pulling it up. Uh, so basically what we have here, 5.7 magazine. Uh, it does have one of our Elite Ammunition's heavy-duty aftermarket springs in it. Uh, before we start, we're going to take apart the magazine. Now this is something that's very important that I recommend to people. Uh, on the websites and stuff like that, and even in our tutorial video, we, we, we show people pinching and pushing. Well, what happens is, a lot of times people just push. And if you just push, you will tear up the little tabs in here that are inside of here that retain this base on. And then after that, your base will perpetually be loose and always falling off. Now, on some magazines, it's really hard to pinch this in. So I cheat uh, because, honestly, uh, FN doesn't sell the magazine bodies, uh, so which is why we created this in the first place. Um, so I cheat. I grab a pair of channel locks like this. I pinch them in nice and tight and then push it. That way, it comes right off the body, and the little tabs here, I don't know how well you can see this, these little tabs right here don't get torn up. And this little tab, what happens is right here, this piece of material here usually gets, it gets scraped off, and then your magazine base is loose. Uh, also, as a little side note, uh, this clip can be also applied to a magazine that's already chipped. So if you have one that's already chipped that you've had to set off to the side because FN won't sell you just the mag body and the magazines are expensive, uh, you can get this uh, magazine protector and uh, put it in place on your chipped magazine. Uh, you just got to line it up and I'll show you how to line it up when I install it on this one um, um, as a preventive measure and you will be able to return that magazine back to service as long as there's enough material here for it to grip. All right, what we have here is this is sprung steel. Um, I have found that in a lot of cases, it can stay in place with its own spring tension on a new magazine. Uh, I do recommend, though, gluing them in place. Uh, the best glue I have found to date is a two-part epoxy uh, th that really burns into the polymer of the magazine. Uh, this particular two-part epoxy is a Loctite two-part epoxy. I like the two-part epoxies because they are less brittle than, say, a gel-type crazy glue. The issue I had with the gel-type crazy glue is it was very brittle. Uh, it did not grab the metal very well, and it would just flake off the polymer shell, and they would come loose. Now, I found that even when they come loose, um, they still stay in place. Uh, you can actually drop the mag, and if you want, you can move it around, but the... Uh, clip will still stay in place and work and won't cause the gun to malfunction. Alright, so here we have the magazine body and uh, basic prep. I'm going to put this in here in the uh, vice grips just to, or in the uh, vice just to make it easier to hold. As usual, we've got a little piece of cardboard, two-part epoxy here. Again, this is the Loctite uh, version. There's lots of other two-part epoxies out there from different manufacturers. So, pick and choose. Alright, got the epoxy mixed up. More than I need, but, you know, hey, what the hell. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put across the top here a thin film keeping in mind that when the mag protector goes down it's obviously going to drag some of the glue with it. And like I said this is not 100% required 
Uh, it will stay in place under its own spring tension. Uh, well, they have so far over the couple month period I've been testing them. But for now, I'm just being on the safe side and I'm putting a little bit of epoxy in there. And this epoxy sets, it bites into the polymer pretty well. All right, so to make installation easier, I have here a small flat tip screwdriver to try and just uh, open. Now when you open these up, you don't want to get too carried away and open it up too far because then obviously you will rebend the spring. Again, this is heat treated spring uh, steel. I'm just going to open it up a little bit. Just, I'm going to slide it on to the screwdriver so then it opens it up. And once it's in place, we just push it down like that. Take your other part of the Q-tip here that you cut, and this is when you take care of any glue that's squeezed out, so it's more aesthetically pleasing. And now we just let the glue set. As you can see, it fits over. Uh, the magazine uh, lip protector ends just above this little notch right here on the magazine body. Uh, I did that intentionally. Obviously, if it falls in line here, it's not going to stick out too far and uh, affect the magazine going in and out of the gun. Uh, it goes to the same distance on the inside. And now the glue will let, we'll let the glue set up. It protects the lip completely. This has a nice round edge to it. Uh, and the bolts feel real nice. Uh, I know some of you guys are asking, well, will the follower hit it? No, it won't. Uh, I can even install this now, even though the glue hasn't even dried. You can see the follower, the top half of this follower is actually, there's a nice gap right there. I don't know how well this, this, this is coming up on this, on this video. There's a nice gap right there, so it doesn't even hit it uh, when the thing's empty. When there's an actual cartridge in there, because the way the cartridge is pushing against the follower and the lips right here, it actually pushes the follower back, so it actually pushes it away from it. So right now, even though, um, uh, just let it sit here, and I'm going to let the epoxy set up, and then I'll assemble the magazine as usual. Um, uh, we are going to include these with our uh, magazine pack. Uh, we have a three pack of 5.7 magazines. Uh, we will include a uh, version of that where it automatically comes with three of these. Uh, so when you get your high powered magazine springs, you can also get the clips and glue them in place before your mags chip in the first place. Um, I have had one magazine where it chipped all the way down to this line here. Obviously there was nothing for this to grip. I could not save that magazine. Uh, I have other magazines though where a large portion of this has chipped out and as, as long as I use a uh, large or, or a fairly decent amount of the epoxy, uh, they hold in place and they keep working. Uh, if you want, if you really uh, want to get carried away with it, you can also run a little bead of epoxy on the outside here so it kind of hooks the edges again this is all below the edge of the uh, um, magazine here so it's not going to rub against anything or, or whatnot and again like I said you can clean it off if you're if you know I know a lot of people are concerned about aesthetics uh, I'm more concerned about the damn thing working and about the I've got about right now about 10 magazines that I've put back into surface with this uh, because obviously with uh, ammunition testing at Elite Ammunition we test everything through 5.7s uh, besides our other test rigs and stuff like that uh, so we go through a number of magazines and we like I said we've had magazines that are years old that have survived and I've had brand new magazines right out of the box fail the first time we've used them so again this is Elite Ammunition uh, Magazine Lip Protector thank you